Brothers and sisters, my generals, I thank you. Those that's been riding along, I really appreciate you. Man, brothers and sisters, and you already know, if we alive and breathing, we are back to conquer another day, another year, and another decade. And you know I gotta get to those honors. I honor thy ancestors, those who fought hard to get many of us in the place and the space that divine space that we are in. And salute to the current subscribers, new subscribers. And it's, this is what makes it all worth it, you know, you know, taking care of our own selves and then sharing that energy and experiences, teachings, knowledge, things we have learned along the way. And we pass it on, you know, as I heard a great brother say, you know, we, we pass that baton, you know, so everybody can be strong in our, in our circle. Thank you. And uh, I place that gold over our families. May all of our families prosper and everything we touch turn to gold. And I really appreciate the, uh, the, the attention I got on the last podcast I made about um, Just Live and Love. I really appreciate that. And when I first saw that, and the first thing I said was humble thyself you know but you know we all get that little giggity feeling inside but you know as we mature get a little older we understand our gifts and and we appreciate them and we appreciate those that appreciate us appreciate us excuse me and lock into each other and learn from each other and get even stronger and man just build that 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 righteous realm make it stronger and stronger because it's spreading out it's a lot of righteous brothers and sisters out here and mix the toxic ones and all that. But a lot of toxicity is being highlighted right now. Because, again, as I always say, you in them righteous circles, you'll know who the righteous ones are. You know, within our own little issues we have in our personal lives and little things that we deal with. But as a collective, you know, a lot of us have been working on ourselves, you know, because we are in the age of information. So kind of running out of running out of excuses and that's for me too so salute to those that are staying with it you know no matter what because we all know it's not easy sometimes so salute if you have that strong divine spirit within stay with it because you already know if we confident in that great divine we know that great things will come and that's not a that's not a cocky, cocky thing that's a divine thing you know when we're finally there, after we went through the layers, we'll know. Because it's something that I don't play with in this life. I don't play with God, the real God. I don't play with, with death. And I don't play with people's lives, you know. And I'm telling you, we got to keep things. And I don't play with my own life, you know. Because if we don't play with our own lives, you know, we won't play with others' lives. Because it always comes back to what, ladies and gentlemen? S-E-L-F. We hear that a million times. It's always going to come back to self, just like leaving the outer zone of that great divine. I say this a lot, too, but we always end up coming back. I've been through it. A lot of you who listen, we have been through the woulda, coulda, shoulda, you know, that woulda, coulda, shoulda syndrome. See a lot of that out here, you know, in the world, person, place, or thing. But thank those for coming in to another edition of EBX Discussion and Nature podcast and i do a lot of these you know if you saw past podcasts i like doing uh banners with you know nature and the universe it's just i've always been infatuated with the universe you know and i've learned a little bit about astronomy but of course there's more to learn that's why we keep a student spirit and by the way we are leaders and teachers we are not followers remember we're generals we're changing that narrative so all I see is leaders and teachers. I don't care if we're speaking in the world, whether we're in comments or chat rooms. I see nothing but leaders because just, you know, just because we can't see that power. But you know what? Sometimes if a person is powerful, just their comment alone, the power will, will literally, if it's like to the pit of their soul, it will jump off that comment. So, I'm you know, be thankful. I'm thankful for those who comment, listen. It's a beautiful thing, you know. And we humble ourselves, like I say, enjoy it, keep on teaching. But it was something that was boggling in my spirit. And and I, I came across this title, of course, on the Internet, you know. And different things, when you have a creative mind and 
you know, you, you're searching and you're looking to go higher. And, you know, sometimes you just research, not like looking for nothing bad, but you know how you're just researching things on the Internet. You just come across little things. And I come across repentance. So this what boggled, this what came in my spirit. Sorry it took so long to get to the title, but repentance versus knowing better. Now, before I go into this, I don't ever want to act like I'm this perfect brother and I do well. I do most things right now that I'm aware of now, as many of us, loot. But, you know, haven't always done everything right. We never come off like I'm perfect and I do everything right. But that's why we study thyself, right? So we can correct oneself and prevent things from happening. As we, you know, we hear this phrase a lot, you know, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. You know, always going to start with that psyche deep within. But um, I wanted to speak on repentance versus knowing better. And God knows. God always knows. The real God. I'm talking about that guy we talk to when no one else is around. That's the God I'm talking about. Not the guy we put on display in front of the world. No, we talking about when we get alone. Because that's when we really deal with those inner issues. I've been there. Many other brothers and sisters have been there. And some of your most strongest Brothers and sisters, whether they're teaching in the world or maybe speaking online, some of your strongest brothers and sisters went through that storm. They dealt with that inner because that's the only way you're going to become truly strong is when you deal with that inner. There's just no way around it. That's me, anybody. So, and you know, I see things in the media just like everybody else. But I, as I said in the past, I speak on it and teach on it in a different way or a strategic way. You know, not that I'm better than nobody else or nothing like that it's just as i another saying i like to say no one's better just different you know what i'm saying but our eyes and that third eye have to be open to see that we have to have some understanding some logic some reason you know those good things so we can see through our own little feelings and be open to something new you know if it's something good as i say it's got to be something right so i want to speak on repentance and and I, I did look it up just to kind of see what it means for oneself. We all know what it means, but I did kind of, you know, as I do, I like to look things up. And this will be another meditative moment. Let's get it in our subconscious. Repentance. And I'm going to talk about knowing better. Um, but, you know, before I get to that, and I've been through this, too. Like, that's why I put that disclaimer. I will never come. I will never. I don't never want to come off like I'm better or no better. Just want to put that out there, you know. Just having a discussion. That's what we do, right? That's how we become better. That's how we work out things. We discuss things. Maybe we're brothers and sisters, family, but most important, ourselves. Because that's when we talk to really talk to God by ourselves, like I said. But if we have been through the woulda, coulda, shouldas, and we are up in levels, and that's age or wisdom, we should know better. We shouldn't have to, I mean, to be honest, you know, a lot of us, uh, when you know when you're young or not aware, now I could see making mistakes and doing things, but, you know, but when you become healthy and there's nothing wrong with you, you have no handicaps, and you're of age and, and wise, and you're still doing things, you can't always think repentance is going to stop that. You're supposed to, now I'm sure God gives us many chances, of course, but the God is not a soft God. We're talking about the real God now. And we, you, you ever heard the saying, the revolution would not be televised? To me, that's the same thing as repentance. That's something between us and God. We can make it public all we want, you know. And I'm kind of speaking in code on what I see in the media. It's okay. It's I mean, it's good to confess, you know, to the world. But what, what led up to that repentance? Once we've learned, we shouldn't have to keep repenting is what I'm saying. So... Now, it's a, this is another angle I wanted to go at. It. Now, those that have been toxic, and I'm speaking on maybe some toxic pastors. You know, I got, got to keep it real. You know, I don't say names because I had try to have respect. But people out here, people are not stupid anymore. And I'm telling you, people are not dumb. A lot of people are waking up, you know, versus those that are not. But a lot of them are on the way, you know. People are not dumb. So I'm saying that to say, if those that are being toxic, those that have a big influence, that have I'm not talking about the righteous brothers and sisters. I'm talking about those that are toxic. And 
Okay, they say they repent. Okay, if you hadn't been exposed or caught doing what you're doing, would you be talking about being repented, repentance? Or if you hadn't got exposed or caught, would you still be doing the same things you were doing before they were exposed? That's the point I'm making. So that's when it's, to me, it's just my opinion, my side of the globe, how I'm looking at it. See, that's using God, you know. God is good when you're getting glorified and you're getting all these things and you're getting these people to follow you and all that. But then God, when when God make you deal with your own stuff, then you want to repent and justify it. No, 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 no. Because you can, you can lie to the world. You can say what you want to the world. But it's always going to come back to you and God, the real God, when you get by yourself. So that's why I say don't take if we have an influence or if we have something that's an impact to the world. Don't take it for granted because you hear me say from time to time, I don't care how many times we leave out that zone, how sneaky we try to be, God will always bring our ass right back because you're still going to have to deal with it. And again, revolution is not televised. <laughs> and you have to read to, between the lines and see what I mean on that. You know, it, it's all when you get to yourself, if you have any demons within you, that's when they will attack. You don't care what you say to the world, you know. So don't don't play with influence. God, the real God, great divine, is not going to play with us when we are influence, influencing brothers and sisters. As we see, look abroad. And it's not a deep thing or spiritual thing. It's a law of attraction thing. So, and, you know, me being the way I am, I've had a lot of help along the way. Some my own, some my, you know, parts of my family, wisdom I've listened to. You know, my uncle, my mom, my dad, some cousins, aunties, brothers, sister. You know, when you got your mind open like that and you're not with no toxic shit, man, you be the power, the powerful hero you'll see is yourself. But you got to strive for that, you know. And I'm telling you, you can all the glamorous things, all that don't mean nothing. It, the, the goal is having a right heart. That's, that's when you will ascend. That's when you will go places, when you have that good, strong, genuine heart. Uh, like I say, during our storms and our challenges and stuff, but when we know thyself, it'll, it'll, there'll be less. Then we can teach others. Once we got ourselves right, got to get ourselves right, because I used to say this too, can't begin, excuse me, can't begin to influence others if we don't got our own shit right. And I excuse my French. But um, let me get to this definition of repentance, you know, versus knowing better. And God knows. Let's read this definition. The action of repenting, sincere regret or remorse. Each person, each person who turns to God in genuine repentance and faith will be saved. Now. But you have to, as I said a minute ago. That's between you and God. I mean, it, like I say, it don't matter what we televise, what we say public. You have to, for once, you have to get to yourself and think logically. What led up to your repentance? Why are we repenting? You know, are we going to keep doing it? Are we just repenting and using it for excuse so we can, are we going to keep doing what we were doing before we thought about repenting? Because the whole point is to stop doing things. You know, so many of us teachers say can't keep doing the same thing and expecting a different result. So that goes back to what I said a few minutes ago. If you didn't get caught or exposed, if you're being toxic, would you have stopped? So that's that's the point I'm making. So that's the point I'm making. Is it a since are you doing and it shouldn't have to do it publicly? Just repent. If you have to keep talking about it and justifying it, then that's a guilt within yourself, you know. You had to go to that great God deep within, away from everybody to deal with it, you know. But again, shouldn't have been in that space, especially if it's toxic and, it's, and you know, you lusting and you just living in this sexual world. And, you know, you all you, all you care about is the pleasure. And then then you get caught and get exposed. Oh, not, I, I, I repent. Everything's fine now. No, you shouldn't have been doing it in the first place. You know, you're teaching all these great things, telling others what not to do. But at the same time, behind closed doors, you're doing the total opposite. That's like a slap in the face to God. And again, I'm not perfect. I don't do everything right. But I've had things happen in my life, and I'm sure others have. Things that happened in my life that let me know the real God don't play. You know, 
some of us karma hit us quick when we do something we're not supposed i'm telling you god don't play with me and why does god do that because because that great divine has something for us that's why it's kind of harder on some of us than others some of those that god are easy on gotta watch out for them the ones god is hard on yeah because it want us to prefer prevent it because the real god those that really have that connection that force tries to prevent us from doing things so we don't have to uh repent you know don't even put ourselves in a situation where we have to repent that's the whole point now i want to move over that really actually connects to knowing better because again if we're up in levels and wisdom age and we've studied uh whether spiritually or educational and we study human nature nothing's wrong with us brother or sister and we know better come on now come on now and then all of a sudden we want to repent now i'm not beating up on those who do because you have those that sincerely want to repent but you have those that really do want to change and was caught in circumstances or situations where they had to repent but i'm talking about those who knew better knew what they were doing and because they got caught then they want to repent so but again you can say what you want to the public it doesn't matter because the great divine has to say that's who has the true judgment really that's who has the true judgment overall great divine mother nature father time you know as I, I, i said this a long time ago be thankful if we have a voice and we're speaking and we have a platform because be as be as positive and honest as we possibly can it will come out you know deal with anything any aspect of our lives that we have to because again when we got a bunch of wrong toxic things going on within i don't see how people do it you know they speak and got all this crap going on within you know that's no way to live so we keep our and you know what i'm saying we don't try to keep our conscience clean so we can be perfect we keep our conscience clean so that we are you know what i'm saying not that we're striving to be but when you have nothing within and you just you just cleanse in your soul mind body and soul man it just feels that much better so you know just be as real as we can possibly possibly be brothers and sisters you know even though it's not easy sometimes but it's always the be the best you know and that's to my my generals you know my brothers my sisters my family young and old real talk because it's um like i say when we wake up in the morning say thank that great divine for waking me up and more before our feet touch the floor and i do i find myself i've made it a habit of saying thank you great divine for waking me up even if most of the time i do it before my feet touch the floor but sometimes i, I, I you know forget unfortunately I, but i say it and i say oh man i didn't say thank you and it, it'll, it'll pop in my spirit you know, sometime in the morning, I'll say, thank you, great divine, for waking me up. And many other things. That's why I say, and more, before our feet touch the floor. Because that's family, brothers and sisters, those who are striving to live a right life. I bring down, uh, call down protection on all of that. You know, because why do I do this? Because it's a family spirit. You know, that energy is important. Don't forget that. So, and it's something else I've been asking my, or our divine, you know great divine will give it to us you know just but we can't be asking for things you know and we don't even have to talk we can just in our spirit you know be thankful and something i had called down from that great divine man great divine make me real all the time man that's the spirit that's been hitting me make me real all the time not a little bit not sometimes all the time you know and i want to send that same energy to the listeners my brothers and sisters current subscribers new subscribers anybody that views salute and uh salute to the real like-minded content creators out there that's doing their thing i've learned from many and uh by the way it's only one platform that i've ever been on and uh the brother gave me a voice you know like i say i don't like to say names but you know he he you know helped a brother he he gave me a jump start so to speak and uh some of my first beginning subscribers were actually from some from his platform and he has a very beautiful platform it's a lot of beautiful people on there and i just want that brother to know i never forget about him you know it was my family and other brothers and sisters i've connected to 
I never forget about those I love. Real talk, but I don't forget about those that might be on the outside of my family. You know, I'm, I'm for you too, you know, but you got to strive. It's always going to come down to what, brothers and sisters, that great divine spirit within and willing to deal with anything, man, and be, be, the, be the generals that I know we are. You know, I know we can be. So salute to my family and the brother I was just talking about, many other, you know, content creators that I have learned. I've got some brothers and sisters out there dropping some jewels, y'all. Real talk. So salute to that brother. And uh, I never forget how he was uh, played a very important part in my growth, in my spiritual growth, and a lot of other people on this platform too, not just him, everybody. Because it's one of them platforms, man, where everybody powerful. You got the, 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 the comments, the people in the chat room, it, it's beautiful. When everybody can become one like that, it's beautiful. And that's what we strive for. But like I say, God knows at the end of the day. So don't even put ourselves in a position where we'll have to repent. Just be right from the beginning, you know? And repentance is not televised. It's something that we have to deal with, with within, between us and God. So, you know, especially if we know better. We up in levels, and that's age or wisdom. So continue being the generals that I know you are. And thank those for coming in to another edition of EBX discussion and um i'm gonna keep striving and i won't take things for granted and i keep appreciating you brothers and sisters and all the great reachers and teachers out there you know all i see is generals so i honor my family salute i honor your family i honor my children their mothers brothers and sisters all over the world may you please keep that ultimate peace in your part of the world wherever you are right now salute